Zone Budget is a USGS program that reads cell-to-cell -cell flow data produced by ModFlow and calculates water budgets for subregions of a modeled area. GMS includes an interface to the USGS Zone Budget program and this video gives a brief demonstration of the Zone Budget interface in GMS. The imported project contains a multi-layer ModFlow model, including the solution computed by ModFlow. We can see the ModFlow solution by expanding items and browsing to the solution in the Project Explorer. To view details about the cell-to-cell -cell flows computed by ModFlow, we'll right-click on the CCF dataset and select the Flow Budget menu command. The Flow Budget dialog contains multiple tabs that give information about the cell-to-cell -cell flows. The first tab shows flow information about any selected cells. When no cells are selected, it shows flow information about the entire model grid. The Zones tab provides information similar to Zone Budget. GMS provides this information by looking at the CCF file and Zone Budget IDs that are assigned to grid cells. The USGS Zone Budget tab provides an interface to the Zone Budget program. We can run Zone Budget by selecting the Run Zone Budget button. A window comes up that shows us the output that Zone Budget provides as it is running. When we close this window, the Zone Budget results are loaded. Notice that we are currently viewing the CSV output file. The interface in GMS allows you to specify which outputs you want Zone Budget to create. Next, we switch to the Listing Output file. This file contains information about inputs to Zone Budget. At the bottom of the file, the results are also printed. Right now, we are looking at the zone budget for the entire grid, but we can assign different zone budget IDs to each grid layer and view the results. We can view the zone budget IDs by selecting the dataset in the Project Explorer. We can use the Array Editor to assign IDs to different layers. We will run Zone Budget again with multiple zones. We can now see the results from multiple zones. Zone budget IDs can also be assigned using the conceptual model approach. In this project, we have coverages for each layer of the model grid that will be used to assign zone budget IDs. We'll assign zone budget IDs that correspond to the different material zones in the ModFlow model and we'll use the map to ModFlow command to assign the IDs to the grid. Before running Zone Budget again, we will read in a transient ModFlow solution to show how Zone Budget works with transient data. Mm -hmm. 
Zone Budget has an option to analyze all time steps of a transient model, or we can select specific time steps for analysis. We will pick three different time steps to analyze. Zone Budget also has a feature for defining composite zones. Composite zones are combinations of zones currently defined with Zone Budget IDs. We will create two composite zones. The upper zone will consist of zones 1 and 2. The lower zone is made up of zones 3 and 4. We are ready to run Zone Budget again. Notice that we have output for the three different time steps that we selected. To see information about the composite zones, we need to look in the listing output file. The CSV2 output provides the same information as the CSV output file, but the data are organized to make it easier to create time series plots. If we select the Open Containing Folder button, we can see the location of all of the zone budget files on disk. The CSV files can be opened in a spreadsheet program such as Microsoft Excel to create plots of the data.